Okay, okay, okay. So that's uh, Chris Appel featuring uh, Joe Metal on that particular one. And we have him in the studio join us to talk to us about his music journey and, you know, 2024, everything that he's working in. I, you know, if you know me, you know that I, I like Jerry. So if I see, I, I see, <laughs> I see people, you know, like, yeah, I love it. Good afternoon, welcome. Happy New Year to you. People tell you they like the Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. I like, oh, please put on your, your, your microphone. Yeah, just press the button. Okay. Yeah, so I was just asking him, you know, the, about the Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot. You get that a lot. Yeah. Okay, great. I see that. 2024, um, getting it from 2023 to 2024, um, what was the plan for you when you sat down with your team? 2023 has ended. We are getting into 2024. What are we doing? 2024 for Resapal Power Ministries. Mm. It's a year when we showcase a lot of what we've been doing for about three years now. Okay. So we just released an album on the 7th. Mm. Yes, and we are spending a lot of time promoting it. One of the songs is the one you just played, the Joe Metal one. Okay. Yeah, that's on the album. And then there are, there are nine other songs. Nine, but nine this nine. year is for promoting music. For promoting music. Yeah. Oh, do you think that you've not been doing that for a while and it, it has pro probably caused... Cost to you, you know, um, people knowing your works. Yeah, I am, every musician has faces of your your work. Okay. There's there's an incubation time where you sit down at the drawing board, put pen on paper, go back to your inspiration sources, and then and then put something down that will bless the lives of people. Mm. And that is what we used most of 2022, 2023 for. Okay. So we did a lot of incubation. This album took four years to put together. Four years. Yeah. Okay. This album took four years to put together. So it has a lot of features, but it has been done over time. Okay. And I can assure you, it's a blessing. Mm. I see your bio, and it's quite an interesting one, though. Music director plus producer. Wow. Then you are, you are just like a whole <laughs> body of music seated yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah. With us I'm here. a multi instrumentalist, I'm a music director, I teach vocals. And then um, I lecture music a bit at PUC. I'm an adjunct in the music. Oh, that was you that you know everything. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Nobody knows everything. No, no, we, because it's quite interesting. Because the more you've got knowledge about the music bits like that, it, when you're putting together a work, you know, okay, so I've got to do it this way. Um, maybe a lot of creativity will come into it. That let's do it this way. It's actually more way. difficult. Mm. It's actually more difficult the more you know, because the people we make the music for don't know as much as we know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So it takes it takes a lot more to to do it with your knowledge for people who don't know what you do. It's like you're a professor and you are sent to a primary school to go and talk to kids. Mm. You have to do a lot of work yeah. to to water down your expressions yeah. and everything to be sure you can communicate well. So for somebody like me who has lived music as a life from when I was young. And then I got to be educated a bit in music. I've done a degree in it. And I get to teach it. At, I've gotten to teach it at various levels. Yeah. Uh, so all that comes into play when I'm composing. Yeah. And then um, luckily for me, or fortunately for me, I play all the musical instruments. Wow. Apart from wind instruments. Apart I play from? the Apart from wind instruments. Okay. 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 I, I play the drum, I play the bass guitar, I play the lead guitar. The violin too. I play the keyboard. Wow. Hey. You play violin? No. <laughs> so I, then you yeah. become sort of like some perfectionist. It has to be correct. Yes. That's how you do I your I can things. imagine your yes, partner yes, like, yes. Yeah. no, no, play that one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's quite difficult if you work with such a person because the person has a very clear picture of what he wants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you have to play it a certain way. It has to be done a certain way. It's not exactly, it's not exactly very easy. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's something beautiful. Everybody but can enjoy. Do you sometimes have to compromise on your professionalism or what you know when it comes to music because of the audience you are performing for? No. In music, there's, there's nothing like compromise. There is presentation. Okay. So there's what I want to say, and then there's how it is said. Mm. That is not a compromise. That is just changing the presentation. Okay. But in effect, it's the same message, 
it's the same content. For example, um, I have a song on the album. Track one is your word. And as, as, as much as I'm a multi-instrumentalist, all I needed on that song was just a keyboard and a drum. A very mellow drum because the idea of the song is a very simple devotional song that somebody can listen to when they are doing their quiet time or something in the morning. So that is not a compromise. Mm. It's just presentation. Okay. okay. Uh, you don't, as a musician, I believe you don't need to compromise the standards. Okay. But you always have to present it in a way mm -hmm. that gets your audience involved. That's true. Wow. wow. I agree. And, and ever since, like, you, we could tell the time and an investment that you put yeah. in your craft. Would you say that um, people are really giving your music that attention that it's supposed to get? Because for you, you are putting your all in it. It's like a holy path that you, it's like a sacrifice to God and to serve people. As you are doing your part, do you see people also accepting the music, giving your music that needed attention? Yes, I, I would say to a very large extent, people have accepted the music. The people who have access to the music have accepted it. And in my case, I was privileged to record in concert scenarios. Okay. So there's an annual concert I do. Mm. And that is actually how we got to select which songs to put on the album. Oh, okay. Okay. Because over the four years, we're doing almost nine or ten songs in each concert. So we have plus or minus 36 songs, mm -hmm. out of which these 10 songs were chosen. So we just looked at the concerts, which songs seemed to resonate the with people, the people, yeah. Yeah. which ones got across, and then through that we selected what, what we have on the album. So okay. I would say for the most part of those who have had access to, to the, the music, yeah. they've, they've responded very well. Okay, so the album is called ABBA. Yes. And you have Joe Metal on... Kofi Osupepra, yeah. Luigi hmm? McLean, yeah. Pastor hey. Isaiah Fusukwache, yeah. hey. Cynthia McCauley, Cynthia McCauley, Tino Manford. Hey, <laughs> that's a huge, a huge album. What was the motive yeah. for this album? The motive for the album, the album is dubbed Abba. Yeah. Because the word Abba is not used too many times in scripture, but is the friendliest expression of somebody's relationship with God. Yeah. It's like, when I know my father so much, I don't call him father. I call him dad. Okay, yeah. That's, that's the word Abba. So the album is just aimed at bringing a Christian to the place where your intimacy with God increases and you get to love God more. You get to understand who God is more when he expresses himself in intimacy. And I got to feature all these people because for close to two decades, I have served in the music industry wearing different hats. At a certain point, I've been a pianist for somebody. At a certain point, I was somebody's drama. At a certain point, I was producing somebody. Okay. There, I mean, there are a lot more artists I work for than those who are on the album. Mm -hmm. But over time, you build relationships. And then when you are doing something, you get to call somebody and say, hey, I'm doing this. Mm. Do you want to jump on it? Yeah. Uh, so that was my kind of thing. Okay. Nobody on this bill had to charge me or talk I was going to ask that. Like, gospel yeah, you don't charge yourselves here. No. Uh, well. <laughs> Do they? There's the, <laughs> yes. It, you are supposed to. It's, mm -hmm. it's a craft. That's, it's part of how you maintain what you're doing. Okay. But the point is, in every industry, there are relationships. And those relationships are mutually beneficial. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily money, but the relationships the relationship themselves. Okay. So there have been times in my life where Joe has come through for me everybody on that bill, and then I have reciprocated it in one Same. way or the other. So it's a relationship that functions. So if Luigi comes to do something for me, he doesn't say, okay, you talk to my manager, you pay this amount, you, because it's a relationship. Yeah. And that yeah. is how this project was run. Mm. I see. That's, that's amazing to hear. And you should go listen to the album ABBA by Chris Apau. Now, the gospel space, there are a lot of artists coming through, you know, um, each and every day we have an artist doing this for God. Um, how do you fit in with your music? What is your, your music message that you're giving to the Christian community and even beyond? Okay, my, the core of my ministry is worship. I, I say in church most of the time that if you gave me a solo, like a five-minute solo, mm -hmm. I'll really struggle. 
So I struggle to, my wife sings. She is a phenomenal singer. Like, you give her five minutes, she can wow you in five minutes. <laughs> she, she's that kind of. That, that's the side benefits of the. It, of the exactly. Uh, oh, you are there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my wife sings. And I tell them all the time, my heart is for worship. I, I believe in the power of worship. I believe that God is revealed more in worship. And the more God is revealed, the less we see of the world. And the lesser we see of the world, the less the frustrations. One of the solutions to everything that we are going through is to worship more. And that is what I have a heart for. Mm. I have a heart for worship. And then I have a heart for service. If, if, if I'm talking to any other person, my, my message to young people would be service. That is, that is the only way you, you mm. earn your way up. That's something service. that has come up, you know, service, and we'll be yeah. wrapping up very soon, where, you know, a lot of young people, in, especially in the gospel space, um, okay, I don't, okay. <laughs> you know, I know a lot and of, I, them, I, I know a lot of yeah. men there, so I, 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 I'm trying to yeah. find my we way. We don't know, so say. <laughs> yes, so say. <laughs> where, but, you know, they, they do not wait mm -hmm. till it is their time and say that I am coming out and doing this on my own, right? So you find a lot of them will be BVs, backing a lot of people, but there's a point where they feel like, oh, I can even sing than the person that I'm even backing. I think I can do this thing on my own. So mm -hmm. they will tear them my body and try to start things on, on their own. Um, and that is where the service bits, yeah. you know, because all your idea will be if mm -hmm. the Lord has instructed you to move, and this is God's music, it's, yeah. it's based on the Lord's instructions for you. If it is not like that and you move, you cannot start the journey, right? So as someone who's served a lot of people all over these, these years, what's the message that you give to even the BBs who, who back for you, the people who are in your team, <laughs> when it comes to service and yeah, the I mean, right time to move on? Okay. So I had a chat with Frankie Five some weeks ago. Okay. Some, an artist called him and said, please do something for this guy for me. He's releasing his album. And then I had a chat with him. Then he asked me a question. He said, where have you been all this while? Because this person recommended you and that person. Then I said, well, all that while I was serving because I believe in service. My message to them will be service doesn't reduce your anointing. Yeah. Service doesn't make you any less of a person. Service rather makes you that person. Everybody owes a favor. And one day you'll collect. True. You are saying people should... Um, wait for their time and hear God. The problem is, if, if you don't hear God in the voice of a man, you can't hear God for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. And there are examples from scripture where one of the most powerful prophets, Samuel, would only hear God when Eli told him to go back and say, Master, speak. So we need, we need to serve those who have gone before us. We need to serve. We need to honor them. And then that way, God will bless you with something the world cannot deny. That's, That's what I believe. I loved every bit of this conversation because as an electra, yeah, you, can, you, can you, can, you can get that bit of it. That bit <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. So the album, Abba, is out. Um, where can we find it? And which of the songs should, we, should be our favorite or all the songs should be our favorite? <laughs> well, ABBA is out. It is on all digital all stores, okay. Boom, Play, YouTube. There are four videos from the album that are on YouTube. Okay. Mm. Akpekata featuring Joe Metal is on YouTube. We have um, the HPI Praise Jam with Tino Manford. That's on YouTube. We have um, a few of them okay. on, YouTube. on YouTube. But on all digital stores, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere, okay. you'll get a copy. As for favorites, I think... Everybody will find something in there. The people who are looking for something to stir up their spirituality will find something there. People who are just coming to worship will find something there. People who are looking for something mellow to, to go through the day, especially Luigi's song, will be for such people. And then those who want to jump and dance, there's a song with a Nigerian friend of mine, Tasted, Minister Igwe. You'll love that one. <laughs>
Okay, so it's an album for everybody. You get yeah. to yours on there. So go check it out. Abba by Chris Apau on all platforms. I follow him on social media, Chris Apau, A-P-P-A-U, um, yeah, on all platforms. And let's, let's uh, bless him with his music um, as he also blesses us with the songs that the Lord gives to him. So thank you very much, Chris, for coming through. Thank you so uh, we, we love the lecture. One day where we need a lecture on music and all that, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll call I think you I had the right in. Yeah, we'll call you in to, to help us on that.